the Celtics have found a way to do it again. After blowing a huge fourth quarter lead to the Cavs, the Celtics decided, why not have another? This one happened over the course of the game, but it's still pretty bad because this Hawks team isn't supposed to be good. What's more than that is the Celtics are supposed to be the best team in the league. This adds to the other 20 point lead that they tried their best to give away against a Bucks team without Giannis. Oh, you thought I forgot about that, huh? <laughs> nah, homie, you're not off the hook. Neither are the Bucks for that matter, but they're gonna have their own thing. Right now, we're gonna focus on the Celtics. This is the first comeback of 30 plus points in 25 years for the Hawks. And this is the first time the Celtics have given up that kind of lead in the same amount of time. I, I just don't understand this team. They simultaneously have the highest margin of victory in the entire league while having some of the most historic collapses this season. Scratch that, of all time, they're ranked first in blown double digit leads. Also, shout out to DeAndre Hunter for taking one of the worst shots I've seen in my life. And I mean, he's lucky that he made it because if he didn't, this could have ended quite horribly for him and the Hawks. And this would have been an entirely different video, but he did make it. There is zero reason to take this shot besides it happening the way that it exactly happened in this game, which is he made the shot and put his team up by four. But if he misses this, they're up one and the Celtics likely get possession heading down to their side of the court with the option to either get fouled or hit a three to put them up by two. Crazy shot, he's lucky that it went in. Like I said, I don't get how a team that has the highest average margin of victory in the NBA keeps blowing leads like this and not just leads, their leads late and they're usually like double digits or something like that. But once you're up 30, and you're the best team in the league, you should be able to finish business. I mean, maybe they could make a little bit of a run and make it close towards the end, but at the end of the day, you should shut all of that down. Honestly, I don't think any of this stuff on the East matters when you got Jokic over there in the West doing what he does. I said it before and I'll say it again. The Nuggets are gonna be repeat champions and I don't think that there's anybody that's going to stop them especially if the Celtics and the Bucks keep doing these sorts of things in their games, then they're not gonna stand a chance in their own conference, let alone the finals. But anyway, that's just my thoughts on this game. What do you guys think? Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you feel so inclined and I'll catch you guys on the next one.